All right, what's up guys? This is question and answer game featuring my boyfriend's answers. There you go. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> I think he said Paris. <laughs> He's honestly the nicest person ever, so this is gonna be so fun. Okay, he also said Paris because she's never been. I have never been and he loves it. I think it'd just be really magical. I'm the one that first pursued him. I was like, eh, interested, but he's the one that really pursued it. I don't know what he said. He said him. Yeah, like an actual move that made any ruckus, it was him. I liked his photo first. I say I made the first move, actually. Every day is so great. What is wrong? I feel like so... He's just awesome. Dream day. I just want to travel with him. So I don't know. Like, I think that's what he would say, but I don't know. He said anything with her. Seriously. Corny, but true. I'm telling y'all, he's the nicest person I've ever met. I knew he was going to say that. He said star driven, inspiring. I knew he was going to say something like something about shiny, a star, because I'm his star. Her dishwasher. What's wrong with my dishwasher? He's really good. He does the dishes every day. Like what? I think he's a creature that's like, I don't know what he is, but I, I like this specimen. It's great. Me. Ha ha ha. That's what he wrote. And he has to help me get ready. He picks up my clothes for me. I'm not kidding y'all. He'll be like, Hey, like, I don't know if that blue goes with that red you're wearing and he will go and help me make a cute outfit. He's so stylish. And, and even though it takes me a long time, he'll just, he's just patient. I'll just sit over here, turn on the Spotify, drink a glass of wine, wait for me. And then look better than me. Cause he's so hot. Ugh. Like it's okay to be messy, be silly. I don't know. That's what I feel like. I feel like I brought out the, the kid in him oh my gosh this this is what he said what's something that hannah's taught you what how to fall in love how i'm i'm telling you oh, so sweet. he asked me out and it was a mexican restaurant called chilita and we had margaritas he just said, Chilita in Venice. I asked her out, but it's complicated. Wait, I don't know why it's complicated. Because I'm the one that first kind of threw the line out there. I think there's stuff always in my teeth, probably. Or like crusties on the side of my lips. Her disdain for mornings. <laughs> I don't disdain mornings, but he wakes up at, no joke, like 4 a.m. He wakes up and does all this morning routine stuff that I'm trying to do a morning routine, but not at 4 a.m. That's still nighttime. He comes and wakes me up and I'm just so sleepy. I'm not like wanting to talk. I do have disdain for him waking me up, but I don't have disdain towards him. I feel like I'm pretty nice to you in the morning. He'll say something about my smile, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? He said, okay effortlessly beautiful and vibrant and a little frantic but so beautiful instant spark that was a really sweet i'm gonna keep this one i went to our date not like super glammed up at all meaning i wore a sweatshirt and tennis shoes if y'all have seen him you don't you wouldn't think you'd show up to a date like that but i was frantic because i saw him and i was like oh what did i what did i just do but i feel like because I hadn't like built it all up, I was able to be myself, I guess, which is a little frantic. Uh, and there definitely was a nice spark. Maybe that I don't finish my food. I leave stuff around, like laying out all the time. That I like, want to, I want us to buy like everything on the menu, but like don't leave it. I don't know. Oh, this is, this is right. Yeah. Please close the cabinets and turn off the lights. 
I will like grab something out of the cabinet, leave it open. He's always just coming behind. He's more romantic. I mean, I feel like I'm pretty romantic too, but he's like more like sweetly romantic. Like everything just is, it's like an enchanted movie or something. Yeah, he just said me. I think it's probably something about my smile, but I think maybe my warmth, my energy, who knows? Her energy, faith, smile, drive, and constant focus on self growth. We always watch the sunset together. I don't know if that's a hobby. We eat food together. I don't know. We just do life together. So I don't know what he's going to say. Does eating count? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should get like an actual hobby that we do together. What should our hobby be? Leave in the comments below. No, he does not. I made him watch some Nancy with the Stars videos. He's not the biggest fan. Yep. I did not, but started Matt's season when I met HB. She shows me all of her Nancy with the Star dances. <laughs> Force him to watch them. It's a proud moment, you know? He does not, he did not get this one right. We listened to, because Taylor Swift just re- did her song Love Story, so we were like singing that on the couch. So I think he's gonna say Love Story, but my favorite one is You're in Love. Shit, she told me. Love song? No, that's right. No way that's right. Love song? What the heck is love song? He doesn't share the same love for Taylor Swift, but he doesn't not like her, so that's, that's good. I haven't told him my favorite book. <laughs> The Bible is what he said. Well, that's a good book. Face or my butt? <laughs> the dimples, yes. He said those dimples. Maybe my heart or something. Something nice like that. <laughs> it was her heart, but pretty much everything. So he definitely, his love language is definitely words of affirmation, but he's the best at words of affirmation, but mine's acts of service. And so actually, I don't really know what mine is, but I feel like it's acts of service because he always is just serving me with love. It's two, it's, it's a piece of meat between two cheeks of bread. I don't think he thinks it's a sandwich. He said, according to the dictionary, yes, but absolutely not. So we're on the same page with that. Like, of course he looked it up. I don't know what he's gonna say my biggest fear is. Losing Sully. Honestly, I would be so sad. And I am always like, where's Sully? Where's Sully? Where did he go? I have to know where he is at all times. I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be something really nice, whatever he says. It's gonna be something more than just like, it's gonna be something like allowed me to fall in love. Yes. Oh, or me. <laughs> Finally opened up to the idea of loving me. I was just very hesitant. I don't know why I'd be hesitant about love um, or relationships. Weird. Yeah, it just took me a little bit. He's going to say Sweet Home Alabama, but he didn't finish watching it. If he didn't say that, because he didn't watch it with me. Four Christmases. Ha ha. Okay, that's a joke because... That's my favorite Christmas movie, and he thinks it sucks. And it's hilarious. And he still hasn't watched it with me. I don't know what he's gonna say. I'm kind of like worried about what he's gonna say. <laughs> she likes her shower to result in third degree burns. That is true. I want to like, which is not good. It's actually not good. I wouldn't suggest it, but yeah, I like him to be like scorching hot to where you're like, ha, 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 just like, Breathe and bear it, and you got it. And then you finally, like, your your flesh is burnt, so you just can wash your hair. All right, now you know. He's, like, the nicest person ever. Picked a good one, obviously. If there's anything else you want to know about a relationship or want to see anything else, you know what to do. Well, first like the video, but then comment that. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Bye, guys.